Okay, welcome again to yet another session where we want to tackle this question here. So we are asked to evaluate this uh, uh, integral for this complex conjugate from this point, which is the origin to 4 plus 2i along a curve C given by this for part A, for part B, we are going to approach uh, to, to follow uh, some pieces of lines from z is equal to the origin, from the origin to 2i, and then from z is equal to 2, from that 2i until this other point 4 plus 2i. So the idea is to just, to do this integral, we need to uh, recall this formula, which says that the integral of uh, this complex valued function uh, is none other than the integral uh, over a, b, where a, b are the limits for the parameter t and here we have we substitute the parameterized or the parameterized function into the original function and then we place it here and then we take this, the derivative of the parameter function yeah parameterized function well it's just the same then the t there so so if we look for part uh, look at part a we are already given the care the parametric form of the curve you are supposed to follow, so there is less sweat. So we already, so in other words, for part A, we already know our uh, parameter, the parameterized path we are supposed to take. So CT is T squared plus IT, okay? Now we need to, to find the derivative, so C prime, t is none other than 2t plus i all right and um now we will write everything into this formula so this is now equal this integral is equal to the integral from so we need to determine a and b which is pretty easy so we say when z is equal to zero that's where we are starting from so we place zero here zero is equal to t squared plus i t so let's see 0 is equal to t squared plus it. We want to find the initial value of this, this, this t, right? When z is equal to 0, our starting point. So if we do our maths here, yeah, you can factor out t. You have t plus i is equal to 0, which then implies that t is equal to 0. Okay, of course, it's, it's, it's zero plus a zero i here. So, in any case, t is zero. So, we have our starting point. So, this integral is starting from zero. Now, let's see where are we ending? Four plus two i. So, we just say four plus two i is equal to t squared plus i t. So, we can just compare. Look, so four is equal to. This is a complex number, and that's a complex number, right? So the real part, we convey to the real part on the left hand side. So you can see that t squared is a 4, uh, and t is equal to plus or minus 2. Maybe it will be difficult for us to determine which value to take. Let's check the imaginary part. 2i is equal to i t, or you can just ignore the i, and then you say t is equal to 2. So you drop the negative. And take the positive because it's confirmed by the imaginary part okay so zero to two and then we need to to, to take this ct place it into the original function which is z so we need z bar so if we so z bar if we substitute with the z we put ct in other words we require a ct bar okay so the conjugate of that is none other than t squared minus i t. So we don't need this anymore, even that. t squared minus i t, and then instead, uh, for, 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 we also need the derivative of that, which we say is 2t um, t plus, plus i, okay? And then dt, according to this formula, right? So this is pretty easy, guys. We remove brackets. We have two t cubed. Okay, we are not integrating yet. We are removing brackets. 
plus t squared i minus 2t squared i to be minus t squared i. This by that is minus i squared, so that will be a positive t. Okay, dt. So if you integrate, you have t to the power of 4 over 2, right? Because this should be t to the power of 4 over 4, but 2 into 4 is a 2 minus t cubed over 3 i plus t squared over 2 divided over 0, 2. If you do the math correctly, you are supposed to get 10 minus 8 over 3 i. Okay, so this is it. This is the answer for part A. Let's do part B quickly. So for part B, we need to find CT, right? The parameterized part. So in this part B, we need to work out CT, but it's in pieces. Okay, look at this. We are moving from 0, 0, the origin to 2i. So this is the origin. Where is 2i? So 2i x component is 0. The real part is 0. So we are not on the x axis. But on the y axis, we are on point 2. So, so it's from here to here. All right, that's a 2. And then later we move from two, that 2i two to four, 4 units on the x and 2 on the y. So this is the the, the other point, so from here we'll continue to there. So this is the part we are supposed to take until we get to that point four comma two. All right. So now, so it means we need to get the parameter, the, the function ct for this piece, and then the other ct for that other piece. So let's do that. So we are saying from from z is equal to 0 to z equal to 2i, our ct is equal to, now it's easy to determine the uh, parameterized function, so there is an easier way to do that. If you are moving along a straight line, uh, then the parameterized function ct is you say z naught in brackets 1 minus t plus z1 t when you are moving from z naught to z1. So in this case, we are moving from z naught equals 0 to that. Let's substitute. We put a 0 here, everything becomes 0. 2i will mark by t. So for this piece, the first piece, let's call that ct1 will be none other than 2ti, okay? And let's determine the range for t in that. So when this quantity is set to 0, we can clearly see that t is ranging from 0 to, if we set this side 2i, then you can see that t is ranging from 0 to 1. So let's do the other piece again from z is is equal to 2i to z is equal to 4 plus 2i. So our ct, in this case, let's call that ct2, is, let's place 2i here. So it will be 2i in brackets 1 minus t. We want to determine ct, all right? Plus where we are going for, if you multiply by t, it's 4t plus 2it. Let's simplify this. It will be 2i minus 2it plus 4t plus 2it. This 2it will cancel with that and will remain with 4t plus 2i. So this is the function 4t plus 2i. So in the same manner, let's determine the the range for t. So when this left-hand side is equal to 2i, so it means t is 0. Okay? And when the right-hand uh, left side is equal to 4 plus 2i, 
you can equate 4t, 4t will be equal to 4, so t is equal to 1, using the real part only. You can check using the imaginary part as well, 2i will be equal to 2i, so there's no t there, so we can only use the real part. Alright, so we don't need this. So now that we have everything, so we say the integral of z bar dz now is equal to, remember the formula requires us to substitute, to take the function ct, put it into z. So we need the conjugate of that, which is the integral. Remember in this first piece, we are doing t from 0 to 1. The conjugate of that is minus 2t i, and then the derivative of that uh, is 2, with respect to t, is 2i. Okay, t. Now because, okay, let's, okay, let me not confuse you. So plus, let's do the other piece, is the integral from 0 to 1. The conjugate of that is 4 minus 4t minus 2i. The derivative is 4. And then we place the t here. All right. So simplifying this, this by that is the integral from 0 to 1 of 4t. Because minus is i squared, i squared will be positive 1. 2 by 2 does a 4 plus integral. So there's a dt here. 0 to 1 of, let's remove brackets here. It's 16t minus 8i dt. So we we'll end up with 4t squared over 2, that's 2t squared plus 8t squared, right? Minus 8i divided by 0 to 1. If we do the maths, then we have 10 minus 8i. Okay, see, pretty straightforward. All right, guys, so that's it for this question. Thank you for attending.